What's going on everyone? I'm gonna show you how you can create your very own finance SaaS company dashboard design in less than 10 minutes utilizing Cursor AI. And the best part about it is you could recreate this exact design without even having to know a single thing of code. All you need to know is how to type words on your keyboard and press enter. It's that crazy. So this is what you're gonna be able to build and basically let's show you just so cool thing is you can change it to the light versus dark mode here and then this has a sidebar that is static and showcases different menu options and you can see we have like card payments here profile and then settings and then basically additional stuff you'd like to add and this is all with AI. Now, obviously, this information right here you're seeing, this is just filler content for right now, but you can connect an API. You can actually have it display actual data, or if you're creating a company where you have to sign up users and stuff, there's obviously a bunch of more things you can build on top of this, but the fact that this can be created so quickly with literal prompting is insane and i'll show you exactly how to do it so here i am in cursor now let's go ahead and open up the terminal you can do control back tick or also max can do command j and we can go ahead and copy in this or type it into your terminal npx creates next app and put at latest and let me make sure you guys can see this and then for me since i already have my folder opened I'm going to put dot slash. Don't do this if you want to make a file name and you want it to be in a different location. Just know you need this beginning part. So if you already know code, then easy. But if this is your first time, then I'm showing you that. Now we can press yes, TypeScript, Lint, Tailwind, SRC, Router, Import Data, so we can keep it no, and then let it do its magic. So now we can see this is if you have coded before, just like VS Code, except it has a lot of AI functionality. So let's do npm run dev to open up the uh, localhost and hit command here real quick, command and click. And you can see this is our current design for the Next.js. This is just their templates, but uh, at least we know the code is working fine. And now if we go to the SRC, we can see we have our page and this is all of the current code here. So now in order to chat, AKA utilize AI, which we're gonna be doing for everything in this video is you can press command L for Mac and just a quick run through in case this is your first time using it. Here you can see the different models you wanna use. So if you wanna go and switch to like um, O1 preview, for example, can do it like this. And we'll try that for now. I was using um, Claw 3.5 for most, but again, this is the newer one. So again, depending on much model and the cost will change also as well if you have it connected with your account too. But for now, we'll just kick, uh, I'll just keep it on O1 preview. And then uh, here you can change it depending on the page. So this is the page we're on right now called page.tsx. But like if you wanna see like CSS, then it goes and looks at all your stuff here. So that's pretty cool. And now I'm just gonna leave it like this, but let us write a prompt. So this is essentially like ChatGPT inside of a code editor. So let's say, write code for a next, or let's just say, not say for, write code, next, JS, and uh, Tailwind CSS for a finance, Let's see, dashboard. And uh, let's keep it, I wanna be as specific as I can. Have the dashboard, dashboard uh, menu on the left side with a clean, nice UI design. And then include in the sidebar menu dashboard dashboard for the main page that will display all the financial data such as total amount spent and and we'll just say for um 
simplicity sake for or yeah for credit cards and then also include a chart showcasing the amount spent over time and then you can use filler data for now to display the numbers and charts and then make the sidebar static so when I click on other menus it stays there but the page content changes accordingly accordingly and then uh make i'm not sure if i said yeah i already said ui clean and uh for now let's uh oh yeah and for the for the sidebar menu include any other necessary menu navs that fit for a finance credit card dashboard sas i'll just include some more keywords and now one thing is if you do not want to utilize the o1 preview model we can switch it so for example gpt 40 or just even cloud 3.5 sonnet so for now let's keep it let's do cloud sonnet just for um cost sake and just keep it like this and now if I go ahead and press enter, we can see our code will start to generate. Now here what's cool with uh, at least Corsair AI is the ability to add in things in here. So for example, you can go ahead and just straight apply this directly. So if I hit here, apply, you can see the code changes automatically. Then let me hit accept and we can go here, link, this is for the sidebar components. So right now, if I were to look at our pay, uh, project, we don't have any components. So let me see if I hit apply here and hit continue, nothing's going to happen because we don't have these uh, files created like, like these right here, sidebar dashboard. So instead we can do, we can do command I and I say create all the necessary files and update the code. So, or for, let's see, update code so the app can work. And here we can see it is updating this and look at this right now, it is changing the folder structure. We just created automatically, looks like we have the dashboard and a components folder now. Dashboards here, sidebars here. And if I were to go ahead and hit accept, we can see this is what it currently is looking like. So now, I don't think the CSS did much right now, but for now, let's just run this, or actually let me check it. So this is what it currently is looking like, and right now this is not what I like to see. So you can't really see anything, but uh, let's go back, let's go to Command I. Let's say um, the text is invisible because it's the same color as the background refactor the entire CSS to make it cleaner and look like a legit SaaS company. And then uh, for the uh, menu, also update the sidebar menu to have additional uh, menus such as transactions, cards, etc. Also, for the uh, the actual display of content on the page, I did not see any thing there. So let's run this and see what happens. So now it's updating updating the sidebar the page let's see what else got the dashboard updated now too let's see here come on and let's just hit accept and again if you want to read through all the code for now you can do that um but here let's look at what we got so far dashboard okay so right away we have a pretty nice looking setup you can see our sidebar is right here and then if we go to the main dashboard 
you can see we have users, revenue, uh, subscriptions, and this is like a typical standard uh, templates. However, I want to include include a chart in the main dashboard showing data. And then uh, let's see if it can do this. Also add a icon above the sidebar that allows me to toggle between lights and dark mode. And let's see how it does for this. So within what a couple prompts, I didn't write any of this code. We can see we have this like pretty standard dashboard that if you did not know how to code, you would not be able to replicate this. And if you do know how to code, it will still would take you quite a bit of time because you got to go in here, make a dashboard, and then you got to go in here, update it. And obviously with this cursor AI, we just did this in a couple, what, minutes? Let's accept this real quick. And uh, I think what's going to happen here is it's going to say, for example, module not found. Can I resolve read charts? So I believe, let's see if it actually did. Yeah, it didn't say. So now we have to say can't resolve recharts, which is going to make us actually install that. But again, if you don't know what to type in, so you have to go here and type npm install recharts right here. And then let me let this do, do its thing real quick. I'll close it out for a second. I'm going to go control C paste npm install recharts. We go open command I again, see what happens here. So I'm hit accept all real quick. And recharts, if we go to our package JSON, uh, recharts has been added. Perfect. npm run dev. Go here and let's uh, refresh. And uh, look at this. Okay. This is clean. This is looking clean. Okay. Now, for this data, it's like obviously it's like um, it's not connected to anything, but. We do have this icon here, so let's see. Moment of truth. Ooh, see, look, this is this is sick. This is sick. Now the transactions, cards, this stuff isn't updated. So let's do that now. Let's go and say command I updates all the other dashboard menus to showcase some filler page content so when i change the menu it looks more legit and again you're probably thinking oh this isn't a legit working app of course not it's a template and then you got to go in and prompt it accordingly to whatever you like but for now let's see this if it can't update uh each individual uh, uh section and see so right now it is taking its time, but once it finishes, I'll show you the updated code here, which looks like it's starting now. And uh, let's see, the problems counters popping up. Now include more detailed content. So yeah, let's check out pages right here. So yeah, let's just hit accept right now. And then let's see, yeah, okay. Let me refresh just in case. Yeah, refresh. Let's go to transactions now. Okay, look at this. Look at this. We got some nice data here. We got something. Okay, we got it fits. Look, it has Visa, Mastercard according to um their profile. Look at this. This is clean. We can even toggle. Okay, maybe this part you can't toggle, which obviously you gotta um this stuff isn't working. But this is it's, 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 actually no. Maybe it looked like it was just like lagging. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Does toggle work? This is the first time I've seen a toggle not work, which, okay, fine. We'll, we can fix that later, but don't worry about that. But we go back to the dashboard. Look at this. So now, if you wanted to, I could do another video, but basically you could prompt it again to like say include an API and say like update the chart to show an API for like something, whatever. Or you'd connect that physically yourself, which again, that's gonna be too complicated to explain in a short video, especially for someone who doesn't understand coding. And you might be using a different API, so that could be different too. But look at this. What, what, I don't even know how long this video is, but take a look at this. Nice looking, finance looking dashboard 
with everything working at least for the menu navs now all you need to do is go in here update the design change things up a little bit and then go have fun with that so if you want to see more updated videos on using cursor ai to build projects quickly let me know in the comments below hit that subscribe like a video and see you in the next one